Hey guys, this is Evan, and in this video we're going to be discussing custom firmware and homebrew for the Nintendo Switch. Now I'm guessing there's a lot of people that do want to mod their Switch right now, whether it's a normal Switch, a Switch Lite, or just any Switch, they just want to mod their system. But here's the problem, not all Switches are moddable. If you have an original launch model Switch, then you can go right ahead with modding as long as you have the right equipment to do that. If you have a Switch Lite or a newer model Switch, you're pretty much out of luck unless you can't obtain a mod chip. Probably wondering, what about software exploits? Do those exist? Not really. They don't really exist for the uh, newer models. For the Switch Lite and the newer model Switch that uses the MicroVision Tegra processor, they do not have any software exploits and are not vulnerable to the previous exploits from the original launch model Switch. There are ways you can mod your Switch Lite and newer Switch, that being using a mod chip that was developed by Team Executor. However, they were recently sued and arrested for attempting to sell these mod chips because, yeah, Nintendo sued them. And apparently, they're, and apparently Nintendo is going after YouTubers that make videos showing how to mod their Switch and what kind of homebrew you can run on it. And it's just crazy. I mean, there are a few YouTubers I know. Modern Vintage Gamer and Tech James, they made Switch homebrew videos, but they got their Switch homebrew videos taken down by Nintendo since they're still abusing YouTube's copyright system to take these type of content down. So, where do you get these mod chips from for the Switch Lite? You might be able to find some on AliExpress, but the chances of you finding them are very rare. And Nintendo just, the whole reason why Nintendo doesn't want people modding their Switch is because they could use it for malicious purposes, including hacking, cheating, or just to run pirated games, and Nintendo does not want that to happen. Even if they just want to run simple homebrew, Nintendo still won't even allow it. So, the only ways you can mod a Switch Lite right now is to get an SX Lite mod chip. There's no software exploits currently available. And since it's hard and basically impossible to get your hands on a SX Lite mod chip, it's pretty much impossible to get any custom firmware running on the Switch unless you can obtain a mod chip or if you can, or if you can obtain a console that already has a mod chip pre-installed. Which, I mean, you can find those on eBay, but the problem is that they're gonna still be pretty expensive and they're probably gonna load it up with a bunch of pirated software. Are there any solutions to having any modded Switch, whether it's any model? Well, you can find older model Switches on eBay. It's the original launch model from 2017. They're hackable, well, even to the latest firmware version, being right now 11.0.1. .1. So if you can find those on eBay, they're actually not as expensive as the newer models. They're probably one of the cheapest models you can find. You can find them and they're vulnerable to this exploit. And, and yeah, that's pretty much the easiest way you can mod your Switch. So that's it for this video. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later.